Good morning, YouTube. Today, uh, the project today is to work on this 12 foot trailer. The floor has riding out. I've had it only about right at two years, but it's been outside and uh, they use very cheap wood. I painted it last summer, but it finally broke through and it's just too dangerous to use. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, take, you can see where it busted through right there. There, and then right here, you'll fall right through it. So I decided to go ahead and fix it. But we'll get the saw out and uh, get to cutting some of this stuff, get the old wood out, clean up what needs to be cleaned up, and then we'll go from there. All right. I'm gonna try to make this probably two cuts. I figured if I cut right across here, got to get this side out, then maybe cut on the other side of the boat. And that will work, pull the back end out, and then we'll start putting everything back together. So here we go. Let me just, I know the wires are on that side, so I have to be careful over here. But I should, see, I think it's only one Miller deal over here. Yeah. So just one beam here, so I may come up, have to cut a little bit further out. Yeah, maybe right here. Well, the camera's lined up. So let's see what happens. Why is the suit? Let's do it like this. There, I have to cut another slot out. <coughs> See, this, this is broken, so I'll probably hit that with a hammer and it'll pop out. Now we'll pull that up now. Let's get a hammer. They have these little clips holding the wires up to the bottom. I thought I had them all out, I missed this one here. There we go, got that one. But yeah, it was, it was messed up. But we're building the shop, so I'll let it sit outside. Let the treated lumber dry for oh, several months or so. Just put it outside in the sun, and then we'll come back and we're gonna either uh, put engine oil over it, burn motor oil, put it over it, or we'll come back and uh, stain. Okay, still working on getting things a loose. Uh, I found the socket that I had. I didn't realize I still had it. Uh, it has a square on it. But I painted it, and so some of the deal has paint in them. And I just clean it out where and get a good grip. Won't strip it out. This in here started to strip out a little bit, but I believe it's because of the paint. That's it now. Like I said, we're not going to... There we go. Had quite a bit in it. Once I get all those clear out, it should come out. You can see how I got those out right there. So I'll probably be able to reuse them since the holes are already there. And they're the right size. I was going to cut them because I thought they was going to break on me. But it seems like they're going to come out. So that's what I'm going to work on those. And when I come back, I hope to have them all out. Have the boards out. Okay. Okay, you two. Finally got all the wood out of it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to... Take my air blower and a broom, go around and get some of the debris out of the sides here, get all that out of there. And I'm probably gonna, um, I got various cans of paint. I'll make sure to coat of paint, shoot a coat of paint on these edges. Took the broom, got all of the debris out the corners. Then I had some leftover paint, had some gray primer, I uh, ran out of the gray primer, so I used some of the white paint I had. I ran out of it, then I just finished it off with some red. Uh, I didn't sand it and get all the rust off of it, but they were some unpainted surfaces. So I just painted them to try to help them uh, last a little while longer. But uh, I'm gonna put the floor back in now. And we're gonna use a system where you just put them in and slide them at an angle. I tried to get a couple of uh, videos of me doing that on a couple of them. 
and then the last one we're gonna try to lift up with a jack and then uh, pop it in in the bow of it that's one of the reasons I may have to measure it may have to cut something off of it thought it was right at 10 I guess it may be just a tad, a tad bit too long Okay, I tried to put one board in, and you can see it's a little bit more, it's closer to 10 and a half than 10. So I'm gonna come by and cut them all off, get them right at 10. Make it a whole lot easier to go in. Uh, you, you put it on the trailer. So 10 and a half makes it a little bit too much. So we'll just hook it on one of those. That's right at the back. And so if you come down here, right at 10 feet. So that's the problem I'm having. See, it's almost 10 and a half on the board, and my slot stops at 10. So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off of each board. Then they should fit in pretty easy. So we'll get the saw set up here uh, before I cut the boards to the proper length. They had a screw here. This is a Texas Bragg trailer. They have poor craftsmanship. Uh, I would not buy another Texas Bragg. Uh, they did the cheapest of everything. Here's something here, just a screw, which is the ground. Great idea. But if you, you know eventually on a trailer, you're going to have to change the boards. And it just sticks up. So I'm going to take my grinder, just cut it off. Just hack that off to flatten it out. But it would be nice, a better fit running through the sides. You know, where it wouldn't even have nothing to do with the boards. But it's just, I've had to fix stuff on the back when I first got it at the back light. Uh, so I would recommend not buying a Texas Brad up. Poor craftsmanship. It's the attention to details what makes an item better than another item in my point of view. So what I have to do is, uh, like I stated earlier, cut the boards off. Cut about a half inch or so. Not really a half inch, probably an eighth to a quarter. We're cutting this, we're cutting this much off, off the end, and uh, they're able to slide in. But what has happened is the little slot that they fit into has been bent, especially on the back, driving the side by side on and throwing lumber and stuff on it. So the gap is a little bit closed. So what I'm doing is <coughs> I had to go buy a grinder, a little sander, about this little sander here, and uh, using it. After I cut it, sand it on both ends and try to get a look, just knock a little material off like this, you know, and make it a little rounded or what have you. And those last two boards went in a whole lot better. Uh, this one here I got to get back out, sand it off some. Well, I sand it off quite a bit and then get it in. And also, <clears throat> what I'm using for my gap is looking pretty good uh, for my gap. What I've been doing is leaving this inside between there and drive it to there and then I'm gonna go from the bottom drill my hole back through and then run my screw back in so I can use the same hose don't have to drill new holes because the other one had five and a half boards and then I had a seven five and a half then I had an eight then I had five and a half to finish out all these are the same size so my hose is hose may be off but uh, <clears throat> either way it's gonna be okay if it don't, I can just drill a hole down in the end and put a hole in the bottom. So we're getting closer. We'll finish doing all those. And then hopefully I'll get the, all the boards in tonight. Got everything back together. Got my little hooks put my board across the middle. Uh, as I stated earlier, I end up having to take the grinder, cut that off, but what I did, I drilled the hole and put one screw in here. And if I ever have to do it again, it'd just be easy to just take that out. But uh, still on the fence, hadn't decided if I'm gonna go ahead with the oil, use motor oil, or go ahead and uh, stain it one day. But uh, it'd just be out here a little while longer. Uh, they, pull, they got my form together today and uh, so 
should be pouring concrete tomorrow if the rain don't come through but it's done i put some gaps in it where the water can drain out uh, from front to rear it's a little bit uh off on some of the gaps but i think hammering on the boards kind of bend them a little bit but uh i'm pleased with it and so this project is done i went in and i fixed the wires uh bought some little clamps that track the supply and i put the wires in there which it wouldn't cost 10 more dollars to do that uh from the manufacturer but uh they did a cheap way on hanging the wires but i got them nicely tied up under the bottom uh, with ties and then i put the uh look plastic clips if you can see them here i put the plastic clips with the one screw tied all the wires up it's always been an eyesore but I, since i had the boards out had to fix it i decided to go ahead and do it right and put a wire loom around that to protect that wire because they just cut a hole through with a tart stuck the wire through so Got a lot of that fixed. That was need to be touched up. So, but it's done now. I don't think I may do is uh, buy me a hub, weld a hub on to the top or bracket, then move the spiral to the side. Or well, sometimes backing up, this gets in the way of a real tight spot and it hits the rear bump of the pickup. I have to make a sharp angle. But uh, there it is 12 foot trailer. Two by six by tens. Uh, a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be, but uh, we got it done. All right.